everyone? It's your very good mother, Mint, and welcome back to the Mint Coven. It's the beach episode! <laughs> right, weebs? It's the beach episode. Not really. I'm not going to the beach. Um, I'm not a fan of the beach. Just putting that out there. I don't get in the water. I have a fear of the ocean. But I have a really cute new bathing suit that you'll see later in the video. And so I figured, why don't we go down to the stream and cleanse some of our crystals. Cleansing crystals in natural water sources is one of my favorite ways. I do like to put them out in the rain as well or during a full moon, it's always nice to charge them. Um, at thunderstorms, I like to charge them in thunderstorms or um, in the full moon. But when it comes to cleansing, I do prefer to cleanse them in running water. This is something that's really simple to do if you have running water near you, if you have like a stream or a creek or a river or whatever near you, it's really nice to take your crystals out and let them have a little bath, you know, have a little natural, uh, you know, spa day. So that's what I'm going to do today. All you need for this is your crystals, honestly. You don't have to have anything else, but I do like to use a colander. What is this, chips? I do like to use a colander so that I don't lose any, you know, so that they don't drift away. And if I'm in an area that's particularly robust when it comes to the water then i like to put them in the colander and let them sit there if you're in an area where it's just like a small stream then you can just put them directly in the water and let it run over them without fear of them like getting tumbled away i do like to stick with the elements sometimes when it comes to cleansing like with my very earthy stones although all stones obviously are earthy but with the ones that are particularly earthy i like to bury them in the ground for a cleansing ones that are very watery are the ones that i'm definitely taking to put in running water or putting outside when it's raining. So I'm going to gather some of my waterier crystals and stones, put them in the colander, and then we're going to head out to my favorite spot to sit and cleanse and relax. Now, of course, don't put your selenite or your calcites or anything else that is a soft crystal into any water. Just don't do it. They're not gonna melt right away. They're not gonna immediately bleed a bit unless it's like a salt-based crystal but they will deteriorate and be broken down in water, so just don't put them in water. Quartz is great in water, agates are great in wa water, certain jaspers are okay, pay attention, look it up, just check before you go putting things in water because you don't wanna mess up your crystals, but quartz and agates are always fine in water, so that's usually what I, I bring when I'm doing any kind of like water, like slow water cleansing. Quartz and agates are great. As you can see, I've got my nice watery guys in here. I put all my emotional babies in here. My Ocean Jasper, my Cherry Blossom Agate, my Rose Quartz. I've got some other agates in here. Some agatized coral I've got going on in here. My beautiful Chrysoprase. These are all pieces that I found in the wild. These are already quite cleansed because I cleanse them and then I actually scrub them and wash them. So those don't need to go in right now. But like I said, putting in my love babies because I use those a lot and I cry into those a lot so they can, they probably need a good scrubbing. <laughs> I'll have to do a crystal tour, like a crystal, not haul, what's the word? I guess crystal tour, yeah, so you can see like a, my crystal collection because I haven't done that yet. What's up here? Who's this? Oh, it's another lab. Mm, I think you're fine. You should go here though. I don't know why you were up there. Pyrite? No, you're not going in water. Okay, I think I'm good for now. These are like my most used, you know, guys that need to go in here. I actually do have some in my purse that I wanna put in as well, and then we'll be off. Definitely recommend, if you have any stones that you keep on you that you use like every day, at least once a year, if you can, like get them into their water cleanse. Yeah, like this is my golden healer. I use that one super often, so I'm gonna put it in there. And then I always have these little pouches that I keep my crystals in when I go out. <laughs> okay, you can see this one's full of herbs as well. <laughs> but yeah, like my green moonstone, I use these all of the time. My moss agate, I've got another lovely piece of like girasol and moss agate. Yeah, those are like my my ones I use all of the time. So they're gonna definitely go in and get a nice water cleanse. Okay, let's go. kind of low for me. I would like them to be submerged. It's nice to have them submerged. That's a nice spot. Yeah. Yes, they love it. 
Oh, they love it. While we're sitting out here chilling in the beauty, I might as well unbox my goddess provisions box. Am I right? <laughs> this box here. Oh, it's beautiful. I'm really excited about this charging plate. It's really pretty and I love working with copper and I think that it will be a really wonderful addition to my altar tools. I think it's really pretty. And it's actually really perfect as we're cleansing our stones today because it's also really great to charge your stones as well. Copper works super well with charging any kind of stones. I love using it. I love the incense holder. I love the incense. Everything is so wonderful. Love it. And of course, as always, if you want to get a Goddess Provisions box of your own, I'll put the link in the description. I'll also have the link for my gorgeous mushroom bikini, not to be all up in my boobs, but I'll also have the link for my mushroom bikini in there. It's from Starseed Shop, and it's my favorite bathing suit I've ever had in my life, probably, except for the one that I had when I was two that was like a princess and frilly and so cute, and I tried to wear it until I was like five and it didn't fit me anymore because I loved it. But otherwise, mushroom bikini for the win. Like, are you kidding me? It's just literally perfect. Get you a mushroom bikini, honey, before the summer is over. Let's go check on our stones and see how they're doing. They're loving it. I know they are. I would love to just be laying in a colander in the water. <laughs> oh, they look so happy. Don't they? Look how happy this baby looks. Oh, so shiny and shimmery. <laughs> Excuse me. Okay, thanks. So you can decide how long you want to leave them in the water. I like to leave them in for a good like half an hour, 45 minutes, and even if I can, leave them in overnight. If it's some place where you know I'll know where they are and I know that they're safe. But yeah, I think that this little half hour for them was perfect. They look beautiful and clean and energized and excited. And now I'm going to probably take them home and charge them and then I'll be able to put them right back into use. So yeah, I hope that you enjoyed this video and I hope that you have a place where you can take your stones outside. You can also literally like put them just in a bowl of water in your house. You don't have to come out into the wilderness in a bikini and cleanse your crystals, but it's always a nice thing to do to give them some like fresh running water in nature because it is their home you know it is their natural habitat so it's nice to give them one of those like natural spa days and like let them just sit in the water and rejuvenate and release 
any of the release anything that's been attached to them that you've been pouring into them over the past you know however long and to be just refueled and refreshed in the natural water so yeah i hope you all have a beautiful magical day remember to go outside and take a walk no matter where you are and just enjoy your time outside and relax and de-stress it's so essential and just have a beautiful magical weekend Mwah!